Well, folks, the 39th annual Bob Cleverly 8-Man All-Star Game has almost arrived here at Montana Tech, and for a lot of these guys, this will be their final time suiting up. Class C players moving on to the next level is fairly uncommon, and playing at the D1 level, even more rare. But Fairview's Hunter Charbonne was one of those diamonds in the rough, and come fall, he'll be joining Montana State's football team. Oh, I'm very grateful. I mean, there was plenty of people that were there to support me and push me to be where I am today. And, you know, I, I couldn't ask for a better opportunity. It's amazing. A do-it-all player for Fairview, Charbonneau helped power the Warriors to the eight-man semifinals last season. His efforts, even at a small school, didn't go unnoticed. And three days after Fairview's playoff run ended, he announced that he'd be heading to Bozeman. They were very, very active talking to me. I mean, each of them gave me texts asking how I'm doing, checking on things that doesn't matter to them and shouldn't matter to them. They communicated very well and it just, they made me feel at home. The lion's share of MSU's in-state players hail from AA high schools, but Charbonneau will be joining a small band of Class C players this fall. Sunburst Trayton Pickering, Phillipsburg's Cade Cutler, and Melstone's Brody Greeby. Like that trio, Charbonneau will be looking to prove that ability isn't determined by the population of the town you grew up in. I think it's pretty special for us small town kids to get the opportunity to play the 11-man game and we got what it takes. We're football players too, we should get the opportunity everyone else does. Like a lot of small town football stars, Charbonneau was a Swiss Army knife for Fairview. I mean, running back, linebacker, and then D-line. So I guess, were you the kind of player that really just never took a play off? Oh, there was, there was no plays off. These last two years, it killed me not to be on special teams, but our coach had the young kids get their shot on special teams. So I mean, there, there was my breather the last two years. Montana State sees him as a defensive lineman, but he's willing to line up wherever the Bobcats need him. They have me down as defensive end, but they kind of have me as a anywhere. I'll let them plug me in wherever they need me. But before he suits up in blue and gold, he'll get one last chance to showcase what eight-man football is all about. It's pretty special to be able to represent my State. The memories have already been flown in like crazy. I just, you know, I hope we beat that red team. And the mining city isn't a bad place to make some final memories before he makes the jump from eight man to division one. Way different from home. You know, there's things to look at. You got some mountains. It's not just flat. It's pretty awesome. A couple days get used to the elevation and everything, but you know, it's, it's beautiful up here. The Clev won't be Hunter's final time in Butte this summer as we'll see him here again for the Shrine game in a few weeks. In Butte, Luke Shelton, MTN Sports.